Charming one and all. Myself Bhavani from Civil Department. Today we are going to discuss on the topic that is um, psychological hazards. In the last class we have discussed about chemical hazards, physical hazards. Okay. In this uh, session we are going to talk about psycholo psychological hazards here. Mainly what is meant by this uh, psychological hazards here? This can be very much harmful and also damage towards the humans. Why? Because when we are going to stress for any reason, whether it may be some uh, job related work or maybe some um, personal work, it have sometimes we may be very much stressed because of that one particular reason. So that is also one of the main cause of this psychological hazard. And also when we are going to expose it towards this uh, psychological stress, uh, stress uh, like that one also, we are going to go through this hazard and what are the main types of this um, psychological hazard uh, you can see here workplace violence in some of the places means uh, in our workplace also sometimes we may be having very much stress to do that one to do to do this one in very small amount of time okay so what we are going to do means uh, uh, we are going to do the work with very fast but it will also stresses our body that will also lead to this psychological hazard. And next is um, organization change. Means if you are going to change from one place to another, we may get some tension that um, means uh, how that place will be there. Means uh, I can adjust in that place or not. Okay, these are all the ideas we are going to get when we are going to change from one place to another place. And next one is environmental conditions. In this environmental conditions means uh, according to the environment also we can be adjustable to that area and because of um, some other uh, conditions also we may lack this um, um, ha we may have to face this type of hazard also. Next one is organizational justice means in some organization or in some industries rules will be there means according to that uh, rules only we have to follow. Means some people they are very much comfortable with these rules and uh, maybe it may be from the hikes or it may be from the incentives like that one. But organization uh, just is also one of the stress related work here. Okay. Next is a uh, lack of role clarity. Means when we are doing our job, this job we have to do particularly. But if they, that, do, uh, that term, job is going to be changing continuously means there will be lack of that uh, role clarity also means firstly they will just use uh, some work means uh, this is your work Th you have to do this work like that they will say means after some time they will do again another work without completion of the first work means we don't know means uh, whether we are doing the work or another person also doing the work means that low uh, role clarity is also going to be missed that also leads to the this hazard and next one is low job control means we have to be very uh, clar uh, clarity with our job in that institution or in that industry also why because that will also lead to this job control means so low job control we may face at that time next one is poor support means when we are doing the work also means uh, our uh, supervisor or uh, means our hr they are uh, continuously taunting us means um, you are not doing the work correctly means uh, you are taking extra time like like that when if they are doing means that will be a lack of support there means if the support is not there yeah. means obviously we have to go through this psychological hazard okay next one is workplace bullying means when in a, when we are uh, working in our uh, workplace means some people they may be bullying us means we have to be very strong enough to means uh, from this uh, bullying also we have to go through sometimes okay we have to be very much strong enough to go through this bullying and next one is low recognition and reward means if you are doing the work continuously and within time also if you are doing our job or um, we are submitting our work also nobody is going to support us or nobody will going to reward us sometimes means that also good that also one of the reason for this psychological hazard and next one is that is um, job demands means 
if um, uh, if our job is having some work means sometime we have to work overtime also means if you are doing the job correctly and doing the extra time also if there are no uh, that uh, job uh, job uh, demand should be there means if that also not there means this psychological hazard can be we have to go through this uh, hazard also next one is in that uh, psychological law hazard first one that is um, bullying means why because it uh, it is one of the reason we may go through the depression also sometimes it is very much um, harmful towards our physical health or and also mental health some people when they are working in our workplace some people they can't uh, means they can't sustain without the means um, without the supportness of their uh, supervisor like that one means if you are not going to do the work or if you are not going to encourage your work means you have to encourage yourself to do that work this work okay if some of the people they will come to bully you means you have to strong enough to sustain that type of bullying also means our mental health is should be strong enough to sustain some people may be they may be sometimes um, weak at that time and some may be depressed day some may be uh, some people may be feel some anxious and uh, depressed and also some of the people they go through suicidal thoughts also because of this bullying so when we are working in our place that workplace should be peace enough to do our work correctly if peace is not there in our workplace means that will leads to this so many mental problems towards us so if we are going to humiliate someone means that will be a very bad idea why because um, some people they may be somewhat weak means if you are going to bully that type of people means they can be having that uh, suicidal thoughts also and uh, these people they may be uh, means uh, to relieve themselves from this depression some people they will get uh, i mean um, addicted towards this drugs or alcohol also so um, means uh, another people when we are going through the bullying means other people they have to be come forward and they have to stop that bullying towards the two people okay if not they will be they, they may feel so much humiliated and uh, some people they may feel um, uh, scared enough to not come to their workplace immediately okay if you are going to through that one uh, bullying means we have to go and complain towards them our superiors if you are superior only they are uh, humiliating you or uh, bullying means just uh, if um, we can just leave the job why because our health is very much important when compared with our job also and some of the examples means uh, how they are going to bully the people in their workplace means that may be uh, offensive language or uh, that may be intimidating uh, behavior or um, some people uh, they may do some uh, belittling comments also they may be practical jokes also and criticism will be there and verbal abuse will be there and also constant put and downs will be there these are all the examples of this bullying behavior means if you are seeing our friends or our colleagues when they are um, bullying someone or they are go, uh, they are getting the bullying also means we have to stop them whether it may cause to sometimes the bullying towards us also means we have to provide the workplace with very peaceful mentality okay otherwise that may be very hard enough to work in that type of place also next one is control measures means if you are going through this uh, bullying means how we are going to control this bullying for ourselves or for some other people whether it may be our friend or whether it may be our colleagues also means firstly when one person is bullying us means we have to talk with that person means what is the problem of that person why he is bullying us like that if this one is um, difficult why because some people um, bullying people they can't they don't know means uh, why they are bullying that person means some uh, uh, means uh, some time pass also they will do just like that one okay so first we have to talk that uh, talk to that person if it is also not uh, working towards means um, we have to complain immediately to our supervisor or uh, if some people working in the it companies means they have to 
talk to the HR department. Okay, why? Because in these two solutions also, we may um we may able to means um mitigate this type of bullying. Means uh, this is one of the main hazard, main physical hazards we are facing. Okay, and mainly after complaint towards our superior, what they will do? They will just investigate the matter and they will. immediately take the action like uh, they will just warn the that um, bullying people and uh, sometimes if he is uh, if that uh, bullying person is very much um, arrogant also means they will just uh, tell to him the tell to him to resign from the from his job also so if you are uh, always being silent from the bullying people means we are going to get so much bullying also so we have to be very strong enough to mitigate this type of um, bullying in our workplace and next one is if uh, overall this uh, complaining or talking to the uh, bullying person also not worked means we have to seek the help of the professional counselor why because if uh, that will sometimes these uh, bullying also causes the mental issues like uh, anxiety depression and we may get addicted towards this alcohol bullying to forget our um problems also so we have to take the help from the professionals to get get back ourselves first okay next one is harassment means when we are working in in the workplace means there will be so much um, scenario going on in our workplace means why because um, some harassment can be going on in their workplace so many people they will be scared because of this harassment so when we personally go through this type of uh, harassment whether it may be more verbal harassment or whether it may be sexual harassment we have to be um we have to complain immediately towards our superior if your colleague is um, harassing you like that one why because some people um, they may go through this type of uh, depression like that one some may be having that uh, suicidal thoughts also and uh, some people they may get this some um, a uh, post traumatic uh, stress disaster also okay these are all we will be going through because of this harassment means sometimes if you are um, um normally sitting you in, in your place also some people they will just um, uh, poke you like um, uh, we can talk no like that they will say means some people they may be ha- not having any work they want some time pass also that will also um means uh, that may be called as the harassment sometimes means why because we don't know the opposite first person if we don't know that person means we can't talk to him continuously but that person is continuously talking towards us and he is he is doing some mischief also we have to just mitigate that type of behavior of that person also why because if you are suffering from this uh, harassment also we may go through anxiety depression and ptsd also okay and what are the control measures we will be doing for uh, to eradicate this um, harassment means firstly we have to tell to the friend or colleagues or the family members first if that also not going to work means um, we have to contact our supervisor and he also didn't do anything means we have to means for ourselves we have to contact the professional therapist or any counselor for to deal with our psychological issues okay means this is our problem means what precautions i can take to means uh, to mitigate this type of harassment towards me like that we can take the help of the professionals here and next one is um, stress and in this one it is one of the main psychological hazard in any type of work it is one of the number one psychological hazard why because there will be so much uh, work stress in our uh, workplace why because if after completing one work immediately another work will be there so that also causes so much um, stress towards us means that also leads to the various problems in our um, human health like uh, anxiety depression heart attacks can be happen and uh, strokes can be happen and this um heart diseases headaches and also sleep disasters can be happen towards us if we are going through this stress also and this also means uh, why this uh, stress can be caused in our cells means 
there will be so much workload and extra hours we have to work at that time and also job insecurity will be there and there will be sometimes uh, conflicts between the two persons or uh, co-workers will be there these are all comes under this stress also next one is control methods and in this one how we are going to control this means by taking the breaks during the day means we have to eat the nutritious food healthy food we have to eat and we have to exercise regularly means like doing yoga going to gym like that one that also relieves from the stress and also we have to get enough sleep why because some people um, they may be having a means they are not getting the sleep because of this stress also sometimes so if we want our physical strength to not uh, go through this um, any type of um, means uh, some so many diseases is coming towards this uh, human body if there is lack of sleep also so if we are getting plenty of sleep means we have we can be very active when we are doing the work here and we have to avoid the caffeine and also alcohol also and we have to practice this um, relaxation techniques like meditation yoga also why because by doing this type of um, things means we can just uh, we can be very free from this work stress mainly and if that also these uh, control measures also not going to work means that can that person can be seek help from the a uh, psychological doctor means if you are not going to treat our stress means that will be a very big impact towards our human health and as well as the our mental health also okay that may leads towards the conflicts between our partners also sometimes okay and next one is violence and in this violence how this is one of the main thing of this uh, psychological hazard means when two people they are um, hurting themselves that is also called as the violence here it is nothing but the act of aggression whether it may be physical or whether it may be psychological if you are going to means uh, when people intending to kill that person or hurt that person means that is also comes under the violence here means according to the nio sh that is um, national institute for occupational safety and health this violence is one of the main cause of the death and injuries going place in the work workplace okay why because and it is one of the second leading uh, cause of the death for american workers why because some may be um, they just want their uh, workplace very much peaceful but when they are uh, when one person is doing their work very effectively and another person is not doing that means between the two person there is going to start this conflicts when that conflicts is more and more means this violence can be happen between that two workers in america also this problem is going on why because it is one of the second leading cause in our america and here many people they are going through this violence including in their workplace and that may be from the uh, um bullying also that may be from the stress these are all the main causes of this uh, violence and some people they will be very aggressive towards their colleagues also means when that persons uh, nearer by our also, ourselves also we have to be very careful to not uh, to not talk to them means um, we have to be very far enough from the type of aggressive people okay and here if we are going to means uh, so much um, this violence may be domestic or uh, commercial violence also in the domestic violence means nothing but in our houses in our houses also these violences can be happen and uh, in other cases some uh, violent crimes can be happen because of this um uh, uh, means um, if they de- didn't have any type of um, some people they may be just want time pass and some people they may be very stressed with this work also when they uh, hurt some people or kill some people that also leads towards this violent crimes what are the main control measures of this um, violence means we have to neatly explain towards the workers who are uh, uh, coming to our company or like that one means they are not going to encourage this type of um, 
uh, conflicts or any violence in their uh, workplace otherwise they will go through this um, uh, means uh, punishments like that we have to tell to the people and also we have to install the uh, surveillance cameras and also control access points we have to do and uh, security should be very tight in their uh, companies or industries also and uh, when uh, any violence is going on means we have to identify immediately when it is in the very low uh, low session why because when some people he is doing or she is doing any violence towards another person means we have to stop initially only when it whether it may be if if it is late means sometime they may hurt themselves or they may kill themselves also means so when this type of violent and aggressive people will be there in our workplace also they have to communicate towards them and we ha they have to means uh, explain to explain them means uh, this is not right so don't do this type of violence towards them like that we have to make that uh, violent uh, violent people to understand and again we have to train the employees for the recognition of this warning signs or uh, deexcalation and techniques these are all we have to do. means uh, main important thing is if any person is very much violent towards humans we have to complain to our superintendent or supervisor okay so that they will just uh, warn that person or uh, they, they will just uh, change our position towards uh, another place like that one and also we have to just develop some um, uh, response plan for, for this um, violent in incidents and also for the violent persons also that may include the evacuation and also that may include the lockdown procedures here and sometimes um, some people uh, after uh, getting the um, warning from their uh, supervisor also some people may be very confident and again they will be bullying or violent um, violent behavior coming towards that person towards us means that may be very much um, um, dangerous when that person is again uh, humiliating you or uh, harassing you so we have to take the help of our, um, our friends or family members or we can go through these counseling processes or um, support services for the employees to not affect because of this violence also means we have to implement the meditation and also we have to conflict uh, these resolution programs also so by doing this overall uh, some uh, emergency response drills also by doing this one this violent uh, we can be eradicated in our workplace next one is after completing of this um, psychological hazard next is public health hazard means from this public health hazard in our public means maybe our humans what problems means what health problems we may be getting means from what we may be getting means i already told you about this chemical hazard this is also that uh, comes under this um, uh, chemical hazard only why because when we are uh, doing some work whether it may be in our house or whether in, it may be in our workplace there will be so much bacteria fungi parasites which are very surrounding to our, our ourselves only means we have to be very much careful when they are um, um, water who are uh, stagnated there only means by that uh, stagnation of that water we may get the water burn diseases like um, cholera typhoid and also um, some malaria dengue like that one okay if that contaminated if you are going to drink also that will cause very uh, means um, so many health problems towards us so we have to be very much careful and sometimes um, we may get the very uh, diseases from this um, bacteria viruses protozoa and also from the parasite why because when we are going to eat the contaminated food or contaminated water also we may go through this type of um, diseases like uh, cholera typhoid etc and also this may also lead towards the diseases like uh, immediate diarrhea next one thing and also dehydration so when we are uh, going through these problems also we have to be careful enough to clean that water or to filterize that type of water and we have to wash the food wash the vegetables or wash the fruits only 
then only we have to consume that type of food products okay and next one is it, when it is uh, these uh, hazard when it is associated towards this contamination water means that will give rise towards the skin infections also why because some people they may be having some already some in, uh, skin infections from this contaminated water means some diseases can be easily um, come from that person also sometimes means that they can be uh, spread towards that uh, person to person some viruses can be spread easily so these contaminated uh, water also these are very dangerous and some people when they get this uh, skin skin infections also we have to be very much uh, far away from that type of people why because um these people uh, they may be don't know means it is um, it can be spread among the people or not but virus is there means we have to be very careful but if some people he is already suffering from the skin infection means that people have to be not coming to contact with the contaminated water or contamination food also why they can be infected with this redness swelling and also pain that will lead to the very serious health problem also okay and uh, from this uh, dirty water we may get the um, problems like health issues like uh, means uh, digestion uh, indigestion can be uh, we can go through this this uh, indigestion and also some respiratory infection so we have to be very careful to not go towards this type of uh, stagnated uh, water or uh, contamination water or dirty water why because if some people they are already having this asthma like that uh, medication problems means they have to be not go through this type of dirty water why because they may get any type of um, uh, diseases immediately okay next is these are the control measures of uh, public health hazards if uh, uh, this uh, public health hazard is associated with this um, contaminated water means we have to first clean that water and they can then only we have we can use that for the washing purpose or uh, some other uh, drinking purpose and next is quality of the water should be very much important if that quality is there only we have to be consume that type of water and next is we have to purify the water whether it may be clean also after getting the clean water we have to neatly purify that type of water by using the filters or boiling that one while we are boiling means uh, when any some um, dirty elements will be present in the water means that also goes or dies in that in the, for the boiling of water and some of the precautions we can take from this um, uh, to avoid this type of hazards means we have and protect ourselves from um, means from wearing the very neat clothes or using the means um, using uh, some very um, a uh, neat clothes neat uh, it means gadgets also like that one why because in some time from this clothes also we may get some diseases from the gadgets also we may get the diseases when we just place our uh, hand from one place to another means we may uh, small viruses or fungi will be present on that things also or object also so we have to be careful and we have to protect ourselves and also our family members okay these are the references books thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates